All right, we're back. Sorry, dog and cat fight, LOL, IRL. <laughs> Hopefully they're done now. Anyways, <laughs> new dog, uh, same cat, but yeah, um, they're, they're learning to get along. It's a, it's a process, but it's working. You know, they're in the same room. Anyways, enough of that. All right, let's get back into this. She told me to make it sparkle, and that is... Oh my god, I'm still laughing about that. That was so crazy. Uh, it must... It must radiate... I mean, I should have recorded that. It must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, she's got an allergy to monsters, too, so that means monster parts are off-limits. Uh. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for, uh, reference for where to start, that would help out a lot. Alright, so, a little side quest, um, she's gonna tell me not to open these. Whew. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's a chest! Those rations are for soldiers. The sand shroud is wreaking havoc on the supply of provisions right now. Sorry, but if you need something, check the shop. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, let's drop something for our weapon here. Uh, materials. Ooh, what's good? We got a bunch of these. Let's try one of these. It's, it's attack plus 15. The Master Sword's already pretty strong. So, we'll hold it. We'll drop it. Oh my god. Oops. And then... We'll fuse it. Alright, Master Sword plus 15. That's cool. Oh, the Master Sword looks so cool when it's got stuff on it. Nice. Alrighty. What do you have? Do you have Flame Lizalfo's horns? Oh, dude! Oh, it's just Lizalfo's tails. Dang it, I need Flame Lizalfo's tails. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Is that a chest? There's a chest in the water. Let's get it. It could be Flame Lizalfo's tails. <laughs> ah! That's decent. Nice. Decent bow. Always be vigilant. Sabak. Saba mm Saba. -hmm. Hmm. You are unfamiliar face. Are you a member of the cavern squad the caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town? Uh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest of here. It's the biggest town in the region. That said, the laws of Gerudo forbid Vo men from entering the town. Mm. Though Vo are not, under the terrible sand shroud, it would take a near miracle to reach the town in the first place. Oh. I recommend you follow the example of the Vo of the caravan squad and give up on even trying for now. Caravan squad. Huh? They are a group of Hylian merchants. It's... Uh, it is, oh my gosh, it's not as though they can do business in the sand shroud, so they helped out by guarding the entrance here. <laughs> it's clear their plan is to gain access to Gerudo Town by getting into our good graces, but our law about Vo is absolute. We couldn't let them in if we wanted to. Oh. Well, in any case, the sand shroud is particularly harsh for Hylians, so you should stay here. All right. Hi. Oh, you got clothes for me. Thank you. Vasak. Vasak. <laughs> I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the desert bow headband, you've come to the right place. It's used to be. It used to be hard for a bow to get their hands on it. <laughs> Not only is that what I sell a fashionable choice, it's also great for staving off the desert heat. And even if you're already got one, why settle for just one when you could get another in a different color? Uh, a different color? <laughs> Using dye to change the color of clothes is a big thing with young Vi traveling around Hyrule. 
if you're interested in a store in Hanto Village in the eastern edge of Hyrule, the Kichi Dai Shop, Kuchi, the Kuchi, the Kuchi, the Kuchai, I don't know. <laughs> Hanto Village used to be a quiet, peaceful little town, you know. But now that now it's a tourist hotspot, some folks consider it the center of all things fashionable. Ah! Anything else you need? Uh, maybe later. <laughs> How much is it? It's only four fifty, and it's heat resistance. Yeah, let's do it. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Rudo don't know. <laughs> That can be all yours for the low price of four fifty. Sure. All right. Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. <laughs> the headband that you just bought is only one part of the Desert Bow series. There's also a spalder and trousers. But if you have to go to a special place, but you have to go to a special place to, to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. <gasps> oh no. That, oh, now that I think about it, Bo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Okay. So I have to find a way into Gerudo Town, obviously. Oil jar, electric saponillas, what to do, what to do. I think I accidentally stopped my recording, so I don't know how these videos are gonna play out. Uh, oh wow, all the choo-choo jellies a person could ask for. Ah, uh, well I will take all of these, please. Uh, yes, thank you very much. All right, this is another exploring, uh, I think. Hello, little person. Uh -huh. Are you also stuck here thanks to the sand shroud? Ugh, this is, oh my God, ugh, is it ever going to let up? I came out here to investigate the ruins that fell around the Ding Dong Bridge, <laughs> Ding Dog Bridge, but the, but this, Intense daytime heat and the cold nights have messed with my skin, so I figure I'll take some time off at the spa. Huh? But thanks to the sand shroud, I can't get Gerudo. I can't get to Gerudo Town. This is just the worst. Ugh. Hum. Okay, I'm fine. Just now, I need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles. Just have to unfurrow my brow, which. I do. No sweat. If I could just take advantage of the spa plan. Ugh, spa plan. Ah. There's a skilled aesthetician aesthetician in Gerudo Town named Roma. The fluffy beds here are great and all, but I hear Roma's spa plan is something, <laughs> something else entirely. I remember that. Apparently, nothing else can make you feel as relaxed and refreshed as it does. I just want to soothe my poor skin and bone-tired body. Excavating a at Dig Dog Bridge has been ex exhausting. Ugh, hump. Okay, I'm fine now. Just need to turn this frown upside down. Remember, because I'd rather blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if I read three big ideas one more time, I'm going to start seeing the pages in my dreams. Had I known I'd be stuck waiting this long, I would have at least bought a real book or newspaper or anything else. Huh. What's up with you? Um, excuse me. Yes, I see you. Will you be using the N? Uh, no thanks. Okay. So that's just the N. So we have to figure out a way through the sandstorm? Can we fly over the sandstorm? Because we're awesome like that? Let's get up on the roof here. Let's see if our boy's still up here, the one with the, with the clothes. <laughs> get into Karuto Town. Holy crap. Oh my god. 
gosh. I missed it. Missed it again. Missed it the third time. Dude, where are we going? One more, two more, five more. Can we just have a straight ladder, please? The sand shroud is a nuisance, but it doesn't completely run, ruin the view. No. Hey, what? Are you listening? This is the lighthouse for the bazaar. It's not a tourist destination or place to play around on. Oh. That said, I guess it's fine that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Kar Kar Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Oh, look at that. There's a temple up there. Hmm. Oh, dude. Look at this. I can't place any more pins. Okay. Well, maybe we can fly over the sand shroud. Maybe that's the plan. Well, let's hit this shrine. I think we're all talked out, right? Pretty much, for the most part. Oh, I can't use uh, Tolan in here. That's lame sauce, yo. Sorry, I walked in and uh, that was it. I just walked in. <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? It looks like what we really need to do is jump on one of these in reverse time. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Okay, uh, it helps if you equip reverse time. Though. Okay. <laughs> or we could just snag one and fly up there, but you know, we can't take out items. Perfect, right here. This is a perfect. Let's go! Alright, 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 alright. We don't want that. Ah, we can reach Roll. Go through this. Let's do this. Alright, that should be all we need. Oh, wow, that's cool. Alright, so. Let's see if I know how to build this. Oh, that's crooked. There we go. 
Okay, nope, too high, too high, too high. <laughs> Fine, we'll just do it the old fashioned way here. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, get in there. Get in. Get in. Should we go for the chest? Nah, we don't like going for the chest. We're anti-chest here. <laughs> We're anti-chest here. <laughs> uh, we did it! Yay! And magically we did it and we're out and let's do this. Let's talk to these guys first. What do they have to say? Dude, they got a time bomb. Uh, oh wait, no, that's one of the eyes. Or one of the the um, uh, shrine things for the those uh, princess statues or whatever it was. Hi. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that area I was talking about when we flew in here. Um, Saba, Saba, mm-hmm. That was a perfect Vasa, if you if I do say so myself. Oh. Ah, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We are the first men who officially do business with the Gerudo, the Bo Caravan Squad. Uh, if you too want to go to Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us. Okay. Ah. We are a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Ah. ah, and Bo is the Gerudo word for man. Bo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word of their language, uh, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know. We've spent years here trying to carry favor with them any way we can could. They finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to the Karkar -Kar Bazaar. Uh. I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard spear. They've mistaken me for some lowly opportunist. Um, Gerudo Town. Oh. Gerudo Town is located straight out of this gate. It is uh, a town made by Gerudo for the Gerudo. <laughs> Which means it's full of Gerudo. And to us, <laughs> that means it's a utopia. Uh. Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Gerudo a bad impression of us. <clears throat> Sorry, Robertson. Robston. I uh, just slipped out. Uh. Uh huh. Anyways, Gerudo have a new law forbidden, forbidding males from entering their town. Keeping us. Shut out, it only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common sense. Mm. We were hoping to raise the Bow Caravan Squad like ability by gathering, rescuing the Gerudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But Sand Shroud doesn't just block our vision, it confuses our compass, too. We got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Gerudo ladies who ended up <laughs> uh, gallantly, gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe, if we prove our muster as gate guards, Gerudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. Sorry about your luck, peeps, but uh, this town ain't big enough for the four of us. Let's do it! Oh my gosh. What is this? We gotta check this out. There's some fruits too. <laughs> I probably shouldn't get off course, right? That's probably dumb. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know which way Gerudo Town was. I just kind of jumped in. Desert Rift. 
There's a bridge there. There's that desert rift though. What in the absolute? Is that something we should check out now? Dude, I kind of just dove in headstrong here. What is that? Hey, we got a spring. Hello, and a rocket. You guys know what this means. We're going places today. We are going places today. All right. Sweet. At least we can find out where we are. Oh, I can't use my shield in the air. Oh, sheesh. That was dumb. I forgot you can't use your shield in midair. That is dumb. They should let you pull. Why wouldn't you be able to pull your shield in midair? Come on. Oh, dude, and there's sleds. All right. Let's just go there. There's Gerudo Town right there. We're good. We got this. They're not going to let us in, though, probably, right? Oh, my gosh. What happened to Gerudo Town? It looks horrible. What is this guy doing? Dude, what happened? Ah, another voice. Wait, what? Oh. Pew, you're just a, another real living person. I was certain one of the ghosts haunting this place had come for me. I traveled out here hoping to meet the wonderful, amazing Gerudo women who lived here, but there's no one. I do sometimes hear voices coming up from the wells. Obviously, this place is now haunted by the restless spirits of the beautiful Gerudos who were slain by the savage monsters. If I'm not careful, the same monsters might get me too. What in the absolute freaking heck? Okay, well there's someone down there. Is this the first place we should go? I'm curious, where's the queen? She's probably hiding. Like, because that's what we did in our town. Obviously, she's not up in the pedestal. Okay. Well, I just thought I would check. You know, nostalgia and all. <laughs> Alright. Let's hop down here. Hop down here. Okay. Is that... Polka? Oh. Nothing to report. Hmm. What, a bow? Did you come here to escape the sand shroud? Well, you've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter, but I cannot allow any bow to pass through this door. Bow? Oh. oh, you've never heard the word bow means man in Gerudo. There's a custom, really more of a law that we Gerudo follow. Young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with bow. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What's going on? Oh. A bow wandered in here. Oh. What did you say? Bow? Ah. There's nothing to worry about. The bow is very short. I can even reach the peepholes in the <laughs> he can't even reach the peepholes in the door. He's out of sight and even on his tiptoes he won't be able to see in. Ah. Normally bow aren't allowed even to set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town. But this is a unique situation. Ooh. As long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in the town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. Okay. Well. What? That's what you get. <laughs> Screw your supplies. Don't they know it's me? I mean, come on. 
This is dumb. This is legit dumb. Like, hello, it's Link. I saved you once before. I'm here to help. If there's ever an exception. So, one of the houses. Alright, I'll pause it and look around town. You guys don't want to see me wandering aimlessly for 20 minutes. Uh, so, this is going on. <laughs> Dude, 40 attack power? Is it like a one-time use thing? 40 attack, oh dude, it was right there. 40 attack power, where's that at? Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It tends to break easily due to its odd shape. Oh, okay. Well man, that's worth it though. You put a couple of those on the Master Sword, huh? Alright, well, I'm definitely gonna mine these guys up. Uh, I just looked up, uh, might as well hit that shrine, right? I think that'll give us four anyways, and I think there's a goddess statue in here somewhere. So, I'll climb up there. If anything interesting happens, you'll be the first to know. Alright, we made it. Let's get a look around, too, huh? Maybe we can figure out what we gotta do. So there's that one guy. Here's what I found. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. Um, shoot. What right over here? I don't really see much going on. We're just gonna have to go room to room here. All right, let's check the shrine. Once we get it done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, you think I would not do that anymore. <laughs> Link doesn't turn the best, though. I mean, he's kind of got like a roundabout turning radius. All right, buried light. Buried light. All right, well, we got a fan. Uh, that's not what we need. Oh, maybe the fan blows uh, sand away. Let's see. Let's try it. Wait, let's give it a whack. Yeah. All right. Nothing in there. Oh, there's a chest. And nothing. All right. We'll open the chest. What do we got? Small key. Perfect. Is that what we need? We'll just leave that running. And... We got another fan, it looks like. Or do we need to bring our fan? Oh, dude. Out of nowhere. Oh, come on. <laughs> Buried light. Uh, well, it looks like there's light coming in, anyways. Do we need it? Well, I guess we do. Thank you for the arrow. I appreciate it. I guess we gotta run back and get this. Alrighty, piece of cake, piece of cake. Grab a pan. See, every time I don't grab an item, we always need it. That's why I usually pack the items with me when it gives us something. And what we got? Do nothing? Okay, I guess we did need it. Aha! Okay, what's in there? Ugh, we need the fan. Dude, we get the fan. We already have this fan running, so. Alright, was it? What the hell? Alright, very light. Give me the light. You missed. 
still work you think I don't know we'll try it though here too. All right, one more fan. Well, we probably only need one fan right here. Oh man, how are we going to get that off? Think we can reach it? Oh, we can't reach it. Oh uh, no! Alright, just drop the torch, equip the fan. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Back to this buried light. Oh, the torch. Um buried light, huh? Is this dusty? No. Alright, just notice this. give us four all right guys see you next episode and we'll get to the bottom of gerudo town <laughs>